the people of Singapore, owning a house is starting to look more and more like a pipe dream. Property prices in the country have reached record high levels, posing a challenge for prospective homeowners. The Singaporean government has announced measures last year to placate the rising prices that have surged considerably over the past decade. According to a report in Bloomberg, nearly 6 out of 10 of those polled said they see property becoming more unaffordable. The price spurts in the real estate sector were exacerbated by a shortage of supply due to construction setbacks during the pandemic. As a result, some of the hottest real estate markets are now facing a blow. Looking to Australia, inflation has been one of the major factors responsible for disrupting the property market, with the nation experiencing the highest ever inflation levels since 1990. The seesaw trend has been the result of several global and domestic factors, such as an increasingly strong demand, floods and a tight labour market and capacity constraints as well. Overall, the real estate sector has been moving at a slower pace of late due to a larger than expected fall in property prices. The situation has been the worst in Sydney and Melbourne and these two major cities are witnessing the largest decline in house prices. Then Canberra, Hobart and Brisbane have also been experiencing lower housing prices. Then following close behind, Canberra, Hobart and Brisbane have also been experiencing these lower housing costs. Meanwhile, Perth remains the cheapest capital city in the country to buy a house. According to a CoreLogic report, Australia's rental market continues to tighten as national vacancy rates fell to 1.2% from 2.2% a year ago. Rental prices have risen this year in all the country's major cities, with Canberra being the most expensive place to rent. In contrast, Melbourne is the cheapest rental market, with an average rent fee of around $480 a week. So what's your take on the current situation? Let us know in the comments and hit that bell icon. I'm Holly Shields reporting for Calcine Media.